Two birds, two drastically different tactics, and a mystery solved. Here it is, redheads and deadheads on Turkey Season 24. Turkey season's finally here. I can't wait to get it kicked off. Our first guests of the year, Matthew and Austin Pate coming in from Florida. Matthew had bought a hunt at the Foxhole Challenge. The proceeds will go to benefit Soul, St. Jude's, and Catch a Dream. Hopefully we can get these guys on some birds. Matthew was in one time before. We got to be close friends. It's gonna be a good one. All right, rock and roll. It is the uh, opening day of turkey season here in Iowa, which is always a big day for us because this starts the next 45 days or so for us and we uh we can't wait to get them started yeah we can't wait so much we're about 30 minutes earlier than we'll be the rest of the season <laughs> all right <laughs> we'll be pushing it after this but wade roosted uh, wade roosted some birds and uh we're gonna go in there and get after them with matthew and austin i'm excited you guys ready yes sir austin who's shooting first your dad told me he wanted to <laughs> i'll shoot first <laughs> uh, ain't what he told me. He said, whatever he says, I want to shoot first. <laughs> you don't believe me, do you? chilly it's in the 30s that's a good turkey morning they should raise the roof this morning you know we talk about weather all the time as it pertains to deer hunting it matters with turkeys that's for sure there's some mornings that they gobble well and you don't kill them there's other mornings when they don't gobble at all and you do kill them so we'll see what happens this morning but uh, I think they're gonna gobble well and we're gonna kill them. Austin prediction two gobblers down this morning Still on the roots. I'm gonna wait till they fly down before I start yelling. 
season. There's hens on that same roost with the gal. Hopefully they all want to come up to this prairie dog. they're off to our right just a little bit I'm gonna continue to call away from them to try and pull them past Austin and Matthew and Wade never be afraid to direct your call especially a mouth call to try and pull a turkey past you or into a different direction or sometimes when I'm calling I'll call one way then the other try to change sounds sound like more than one hen turkey's right in front. Especially if they're answering like they just started to do. 
and then just go quiet and then I start my pace. Just about every morning I, I go for it at some point or, or another and I went for it already but those turkeys have stopped down there and they're kind of in one spot and I hear hens yelping and coming to them so it's that time of the year I try to be the first hen on the ground to pull them to us they've stopped on that ridge right about 150 yards so I'm gonna take it a little bit easier let them do their thing hopefully they start sifting our way here a little bit they should it's a beautiful morning They're not very far. Boom, baby. That was awesome stuff. That was awesome. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> How fun was that, boy? Did you see the coyote? No. When the gun went off, there was a coyote about 15 yards behind you in that brush pile. Is that why he putted? Yes. And then he stuck his head up come, and shot him? Was coming up the edge. Did you film that one? Not the coyote. Well, I wonder if that's what made him putt down there earlier. Yes. When they all kind of calmed down. I would assume. Let's go celebrate.
Look at that view. <laughs> Good job, buddy. How much fun was that? That was awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> That's the best turkey hunt I've ever been. That's the best one I've ever been on. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Thank that was awesome, bud. How Thank about that? <laughs> Woo! Boy, he come in. He came in beeline for that shit. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Oh, yeah, he's got some good spurs on. Wow, look at those, Mike. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> he just wouldn't give him a shot. So whenever he lifts his head, go ahead. Yeah, and I know. Shoot. I he was he just wouldn't do it. He just had his head right. Down. Apparently, a coyote was right by me. They said he a coyote had come sneaking in. That's why he putted at the last second. Oh really? Yeah, there was a coyote stalking him. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what a show, too, man. So he put on a show. Yeah. It's like he just started running right. Like I saw him. I heard him. Well, he gobbles the close there, yeah. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, he just beelined it. <laughs> just beat the heck out of A.V. and Jake. He sure did. Poor Jake. Oh, that was a hunt. That was a turkey hunt. Yeah. How was that, mister? They gobbled and answered. Congrats, buddy. Good shooting. Oh, yeah. I can see him in the camera. The spurs? Yeah. I, could, I thought I could see him too. Oh yeah, big turkey. Man, that was fun. That was awesome. Congratulations. Wait, did you ever see the coyote? No. He was coming down the edge. When? Like, like right when. That's right why the turkey putted. Oh, that's right. why he went. Oh, so it was time. He was coming oh, down. Yeah. He was coming. He was coming no, down. I, well, I told him long before that, but he just wouldn't lift his head. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Coyote. Yeah. <laughs> Again. He did. He was coming down the edge, and then he turned and went like toward the mark where he was calling from. And then the gun went off, and then you he saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life, bro. Thank you. That guy was about to eat me up. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I was. I. It was a weird situation because I didn't want to do anything, you know. Yeah. Because the turkey did a decoy, but it worked Let's out. Let's get him tagged real quick. Making your bird. Wow, was that a hunt? Man, when they'll, when they'll gobble and answer like that, I was just like, I just kept letting them have it because I was like, they're answering. I'm going to keep pouring them to them. Spur if you want. You know, for me, when I slip into my finisher series, which this year it's available in Greenleaf, this literally takes me back to when we first started. 1989 was the same year that I started working for Mossy Oak Camouflage and the same year that we started Drury Outdoors. Well, a new pattern for Mossy Oak at that time was Greenleaf. And if you look at their patterns, the base pattern of Bottomland and Greenleaf, they're just as good now as they were back then. And it really does take me back to that time and, and really, uh, it's, it's quite interesting, three and a half decades later, I'm still, still wearing the same pattern, killing turkeys, having a good time out here in the finisher series. I love this new clothing. It's lightweight when you need it to be lightweight on warm days like today, or with just a few layers, it really does keep you warm in the morning. And that's so important when you're turkey hunting, because more often than not, you got lows in the 30s or 40s, and then you'll get into the 70s later in the day. So I really like it. It's easy to wear, it's cool, it breathes, it fits well. Uh, there's lots of pockets and um, I can't say enough about the finisher series from our friends at Blocker Outdoors. And in everybody's favorite pattern, it's available in Bottomland and Greenleaf.
sift it off, we're gonna get a little bit closer to track again. Got him, buddy. Bring him. I can never see the tree. <laughs> Good job, buddy. That was fun. There's a pile of pile of gum. There's one right here coming. Let's go get him. <laughs> Beautiful. I know it was a little brushy, but he had come as far as he was coming. He got there and stuck his head up, and we were uh, time for him to uh, take him. He, to take him. He did. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. It's sir. been a day. It has been a day. It's been a day. <laughs> got her done. Nice job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Got it. That was, that's two today, fellas. Yesterday, we went all day, worked a lot of turkeys, didn't kill one. And I said last night, I said, watch, we'll kill two tomorrow. Just the weather, you know, the weather yep. is just perfect. It's, perfect. it's a good turkey day. It's warming up, south winds, 10 to 15. A load of long beer XR, now your buddies beat you up. <laughs> two down, boys, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you. Florida connection. That's right. Best part about it is, Blender, baby, blender! <laughs> we called that one. On the way in to hunt the turkeys, we saw a dead buck laying over here. We called the game warden, he said, bring him out. Oh, it's the one with the tall G1. Yeah. I had a great encounter with him one night. I think it was me and Taylor, actually. Big, big deer. Look at that. That's a giant, dude. About the same thing that happened to all of them. Several of them. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we've lost a bunch of DHD. We found some deadheads across different farms, and here's yet another one. We were heading up to hunt Matthew's turkey, and Perry looked over. He said, man, look at that rack, and there, look what was laying here. Well, guys, two days and drastically different outcomes from yesterday to today. Absolutely, and uh, just two different hunts today, even. Yes. So it was an awesome day, to say the least. One was roosted and roasted. The other one was a much different tactic that ended up with a dead turkey. Dead turkey. And most of all, these are the typical Iowa hunts we normally have. And I was getting nervous yesterday. I told Austin this morning, I needed my fix. If I got any guys. <laughs> we, you got two of them. Got two yeah. fixes today, yeah? Pretty what? They gobbled their absolute brains out, all, yeah. all these turkeys did. They did, it was awesome, and 
uh, as it should be with their generosity. Matthew has been so nice to donate two different times to the Foxhole Challenge. He bought a deer hunt, came in, hunted with myself and Terry, got to kill a giant deer over at Terry's, and then he bought this turkey hunt. And he and Austin came in and joined us here in Iowa, and we just can't thank you enough for your generosity. I hope you really enjoyed it. Absolutely. How about you, Austin? Yes, sir, I loved it. It was awesome. Best turkey out ever? Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you got anything you want to say to Lily out there? We've been here. Oh! <laughs> I hope you're still dating her when this comes out. <laughs> you have to be now, but I know. <laughs>